Golden MFLA, the governor of the Central Bank, taking some questions uh, a little bit outside the MPC. Of course, that is suspected because of those outstanding issues around MTN and those four banks that were fined. And of course, the most recent issue with the revocation of license of Sky Bank Nigeria PLC and building a bridge bank called Polaris Bank. My panel having their final uh, two minutes for, for this very important MPC, the IOD Jebo uh, from Afroinvest. Uh, we, we know the all rates have been left unchanged, so tomorrow uh, live continue, markets continue. But what do you make of the governor's comments regarding Polaris Bank, that in small investors uh, will have some haircut, but if you get something, and that about 800 billion had been injected into SkyBank while it was still SkyBank? Yes, I think it's interesting that um, the equity orders are also being considered now because um, from what has always happened in the past is majorly focused on the depositors. So um, in terms of maybe uh, the capital structure when you get a new buyer, in terms of the negotiations that will be done, um, the, the CBN is also emphasizing that at least if not, not like what we saw at the AfriBank PHB, that most of the investors lost their funds, you would get something um, that would at least be tangible, not that you forfeit all, because the fear around the street now is that um, most investors have lost their total funds. Though we may not be able to establish in terms of the ratio until you get the buyer, yes. but it's also is a welcome development that the CBN is also talking about the equity of that. Small um, investors, in small, we'll investors. small investors, not the billionaire investors yeah. in, in former SkyBank. Uh, let's take this to the market. Uh, your one minute each, uh, Christian Rajakwe from Kodros Capital, the head of research, uh, head of, uh, research and strategy. Uh, what's your take on the central bank's governor? Do you think he's been able to calm the markets and investors with the uh, comments on or clarifications more on Polaris Bank and, of course, on those four banks and MTN transactions? Yeah, I think clearly. Um so from, the, from Friday, when the, there was the press release to this effect, uh, one of the major I mean, concerns and uncertainty had been around what happens to um, the shareholders of SkyBank you know, following, uh, following that development. And as we are aware, I mean, the stock had traded even until you know, that particular day. So uh, it's very interesting you know, and, and, and nice to hear that the Central Bank has actually said that this time around, um, the shareholders will be, will be considered and uh, like my colleague over there had mentioned, it's quite different from um, these measures that were taken by the central bank, if I remember very correctly, during the 2019 you know, bank takeovers by the Apex Bank. And also, I mean, yeah, what, what the CBN has also, has also said would happen to the shareholders is not particularly different from what we've seen, say, for the likes of Oceania okay. Bank and, Inter and uh, ETI, Inter Intercontinental uh, yes, particularly, course. where, I mean, their shareholding was substantially impaired you know yeah. by, by by a new investor taking over this bank so we i mean that's that's most likely i mean Standard bank has it's guided this what will happen to um the yes. shareholders in sky bank but i think it, it sort of counts Kristen, some nerves Kristen, thank you very much we we appreciate your time uh those are events of 2009 and 2010 by by the central bank just about a decade ago uh about let's give about 30 seconds victor ocheazo from fsl uh, limited to give us your final words on on this uh, conversation Um, uh, my final words is that I think, I think the CBI needs to uh, tidy up uh, their books before they come out with the, the final document with regard uh, saving the minority shareholders of Skybank because uh, you, might not, you don't want to uh, turn around and see the minority shareholders of uh, uh, Bank PHB and Africa Bank coming ahead and saying, okay, uh, this same thing happened to us. Uh, back in, in the days and uh, we, we didn't get anything. So I think uh, that is an aspect the CBM might need to tidy up so that it doesn't boomerang in their face. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, uh, thank you very much, Victor. Our chairs are from FSL Limited. We thank you for joining us on this day. Uh, Christian Rajakwe, thank you very much. We, we, we thought we had more time, but of course we need to wrap this up from Kodros Capital, Head of uh, Research and Strategy, and of course live here at our headquarters uh, here in Lagos, IODG Ebo. Uh, managing director and CEO at uh, Afroinvest Securities is the one who's getting the handshake. Thank you very much, folks, at the Stock Exchange and all our viewers here in Nigeria and around the world. We'll see you next time.